Okay, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to thro throw and the best tips for a wiffle ball pitching. And I'm just going to tell you like about how I throw my pitches and the best way to just aim it where you want to strike people out if you're playing against your friend or someone. How to make them rage quit. It's very fun. So, for me, my fastball kind of just like this where the top of the ball and I just have one finger in the middle but it's tilted to the side this other finger so this one finger is tilting kind of pointing to my left and then this other finger is just going straight and it's going in one of this it's going in this hole but it's it's not in that hole see how it's not touching that so we're going to throw it. Okay, so it's kind of hard for me to throw it, but I'm going to try and set up the camera to where you guys can see it because I have to hold the camera. <coughs> but I'm going to set it up maybe down here so that you guys can see it. And... Yeah, I'm going to set it up right here. Now, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it landed right in here because it went and it was like, kind of like a cutter, but it was like, it went like, cut in and if you're wondering why i have pillows here it's just to stop this ball from breaking because i don't want this to break and right now on last video the house tour part two my sister's here but i don't want to go outside because as you see it's 10 21 as of right where i live so yeah and then next pitch is a curveball so, one finger right here. It's kind of like the fist book, except you don't have fingers up here. You have it to tilt the ball to the side. One finger in the hole. And one finger doesn't touch it. That one kind of went in the dirt, but... And, oh, I know why. Because, for me, I went over the top. You So, you don't want to go... You don't want to go over the top like that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You just want to come from an angle. So instead of instead of here, you want to snap it and come from an angle and tilt it across cuz then it's going to snap like that. It will come it will come in like that. And it cuts. See how it's going to cut down. So, yeah, let's see. We'll watch it again. See how that, that one, it kind of curved, not too much. It curved though, but it curved to where it curved and then it, at a point it just stopped and it just went straight in the zone. I'm going to throw it again and I'm going to come from that angle because you're going to see it. Oh no, that wasn't good. I can throw a better pitch for you, but it's kind of hard for me because like it's like so small usually my curveball if i went outside it'd be like this but i can't because it's gonna hit the wall right here and i can get it to come all the way across i'm gonna try and throw it to here just to show you guys because i really want to show you this because i just i like showing off my skills not to brag or anything but like i like Helping people be better at something. Next pitch is the slider where you hold like this finger right here, lift it up a tiny bit. Like, well, you can lift it up. I'm going to show you both versions though. So here's the non lift up version. 
and you put this finger kind of like a fastball and it's hanging off the edge you see how the other side isn't hanging on anything and then down here you want to put this finger the thumb over the hole this finger slightly up and then if you want to have your finger up and you feel more comfortable you can have it up like just a tiny bit like that you can have this finger more over to where it's kind of gonna get right be right on this finger you can see under it you see and then this are going to be touching each other now i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you guys because it might just slide to where it's going to hit the wall but see how it kind of came in and it was like if you look at my finger it was like Ooh, and then it was like and then it came right in there okay next pitch i'm going to show you guys how to throw a knuckle ball at least how i throw mine i take finger knuckle and then your middle finger goes over this hole your other finger your ring finger goes on this hole the next one you skip a hole see how i skipped this one and then go right to this one and then this finger just goes straight under it and then and it kind of went if you look at my finger it was like whoop, and then it just went down because it was all the way up here and then it just went down otherwise it would have hit the wall that's why i trusted it I'm not too good at this, like, pitching. I mostly just throw fastballs. But I'm teaching you guys because if you throw it hard enough, then you can be better at me at it because you can, like, get good at it. And if you throw it hard enough, it's just going to, like, the curveball, it's just going to curve. And it's going to be, like, a killer curve. It's just super curve. It's just going to be, like, it will be, like, come in and then way over you'll get him swinging and he'll swing like probably right here that's where he would home run over here he's missing it he's either missing it or it's a ground ball right back to you and for the slider under here he's gonna think it's down the middle it's boom down the middle and it kind of curves under he's either missing it or it's right back to you it's going to be to a baseman, no matter what. And if it's the first, second, pitcher, like, third, shortstop. It's not definitely not going to the outfield. You can't, like, you can't hit it. I can grab this wiffle ball bat, but you can't hit it to where it's going to hit right at the bottom. Like, you can hit it here, and it's going deep if you hit it good enough. If you hit the, it right here, it's just going to go down straight. And you can't hit it that far. Just at the edge, you don't got enough power off the bat to be able to do that. And then, next pitch, one of my favorites, the swerve. Finger, your pointer finger, is like kind of in the middle of these two, but pointing to your left. This one is in the middle, but kind of covering this, the hole in the right. And then your other finger your ring finger under both of these and then your pinky's just under here your thumb is kind of gonna be right under this hole and when you throw it it should be just like this boom and it'll go just down it's a very good pitch to use when you're trying to throw nasty like that very good pitch to use and if I knew all the tricks to camera, like if I had a real camera, I would set it up. Just my phone is a little broken. I'm getting a new phone, so a lot of more. I'm getting a new phone on my birthday, and my birthday is May 22nd, soon. And um, I'm probably going to get a phone with more gigabytes, upload more, and I'll just be able to do more content for you guys, because it, it will have so much more storage. But... There's no but, but, like, I have, like, a camera, a real camera. If I become a full-time YouTuber, eventually, when I'm, like, 13 or something, 
I will start like getting money and I'll become maybe a full-time youtuber but not if I'm getting like zero views because I want people to actually see my content and use it for what I'm making it for because if I'm getting like zero views then it's just useless so I really want to help you guys become better at what I'm already good at because I don't like keeping my talents a secret I like sharing them because I want people to be good at something that maybe they aren't they want to learn they can learn i want them to learn not keep it a secret and not be able to learn like sometimes friends will not tell them because they are better and they want to stay better and they know if they tell them they're gonna grind and become better but i want you to grind i don't care if you're better than me i want you to grind i want you to become good at what you're not that's why i'm helping you guys with this and now we're going to get into the zone. We're going to go back over here. So, the wiffle ball like strike zone is a little higher. But let's say this is the strike zone. This squares the strike zone. And he might swing. And this is where he likes to swing at. So, this square is the actual strike zone. This is where he likes to swing at, even if it's a ball. This is the, just the ball. This is just ball. If it's a ball, it's one of these two pillars. This is what he likes to swing at, even if it's still high. And this is just a stone. You want to throw it at their weakness. So when you pitch, let's say, like sometimes I will give them in corners just to see what corners they're weakest. This corner, this corner, this corner. Most pitchers, most batters I face, their weakest corner is the one closest to them and high. So if they're a lefty this one if they're already this one now sometimes they don't like low so they'll go this corner and these bottom ones are their weaknesses but you want to just keep watching that as you go on because you want to acknowledge that their weakness is this so you want to throw it there more but the best time to hit a corner and especially the corner that's close to them and it's high like is when you're in 0 and 2. I don't recommend much throwing. Um, let's say someone, you like throwing a curveball. You love it. But they're hitting it. And, and when you throw a fastball, they can't hit it. Some people might still throw that curveball because they like it. If they can't hit my fastball, I'm throwing that. Because I know they can't hit it. I take that to my advantage. So just take whatever you can to your advantage and make sure that it's working. Don't throw something that they can hit. Throw something that they can't. And if and if you haven't tried a pitch, try in an 0-2 count where you're already ahead and don't have to get back ahead if you throw a ball in an 0-0 count. So I just wanted to help you guys with that. That's all for today, guys. Peace out and bye.